Hey guys, it's Elena and today I have another cloth diaper video for you. Today we're going to be talking about Panolino Bambino and I don't really know what I'm going to like call this video. It's like mini reviews, just kind of an overview, um, just kind of some general thoughts about some of these diapers that I've picked up over the last several months and have been using on Baby Barrett. I asked you guys if you wanted like each individual diaper in a separate review video or if you wanted them all together in one big video and the majority of people wanted a big video. So we're gonna sit and talk about all these different options. So I guess let's just hop right in. Now I do wanna mention right off the bat, Panolino Bambino has some of the most cool and gorgeous prints out there and they're always coming out with new stuff and there are just so many options, especially if, if you are somebody who like has house plants and you love plant prints, like they just have some gorgeous stuff. Like they have these gorgeous Monstera leaves, some pretty mountains. We have like a mixture of different leaves. They even have this beautiful eucalyptus print. They have some gorgeous like watercolor stuff, like just some gorgeous, gorgeous prints, I must say. Oh, not to mention this beautiful wet bag I have here. This is one of their diaper pods. This print, as soon as, if they ever come out with a diaper in this print, I'm gonna snatch it right up because it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, one thing I did notice as soon as I went on the website and was looking around at different diaper products, it's a little bit confusing trying to figure out what each type of diaper is because they show a lot of pictures of the different prints and then they give you like a description of the actual like layout or style of diaper. And I just, sometimes they show you like pictures of it, but sometimes it's just the description. So all you have to go on is just from reading it uh, to figure out what kind of diaper. Is it a cover or is it a part of an all-in-two system or you know like what is it? <laughs> and so I thought this video would be helpful for anybody who gets on the site and it's just unclear what exactly you're looking at. I'm gonna show you what the name for each of these are and then like show you and tell you about the breakdown on exactly what the features are of each one. So I want to start off with a couple of accessories first and then we'll get into the diapers themselves. So since I already mentioned it, this is one of their diaper pods. I can very easily fit like eight pockets stuffed with muslin flats inside of here and still have room for like, you know, a diaper cream or a small pack of disposable wipes or whatever. It is a double layer of waterproof material. It has one little handle here and the handle does unsnap so you can put it around, you know, like a stroller handle or around the diaper bag, like if you wanna clip it onto your diaper bag or something. It does uh, have two little snaps right there for the handle itself. It doesn't have any pockets or anything. It's a very simple little design. It has a little loop on this side. So maybe if you want to secure it in a different way, you can add one of those little clippy loop thingies <laughs> and take it that way so it just has the one little handle here but yeah like i said this print is absolutely gorgeous like i really didn't need a diaper pod but i needed this print in my life so that's why i picked this guy up i think it's called nightshade i believe so yeah it's gorgeous just like i can't even it's beautiful the other accessory i wanted to talk about is their tri-fold insert so this is kind of like a pre-fold it's all the same throughout though it doesn't have like the middle thicker section like a traditional pre-fold would but you can buy it either with a snap right here just one little snap and so you can snap it inside of some of their covers or some of their shells and then try fold it up so fold it once fold it over again and then it's snapped into the back and it's ready to use or you can buy it without the snaps added i do think honestly the snap is not necessary um, I find it kind of silly. I wish that they had like snaps in the front of their diapers and there was another snap on the other side. I feel like that would have been more beneficial than just the one snap. Um, but this insert is a really nice insert. I do really like it. It dries. I don't think I've ever had it come out of the washer, out of the dryer damp. So it dries really well, like a bunch of my flats do. Um, it also holds two cups of absorbency, which is really great. I've never tried it on Barrett overnight, but usually two cups of, of absorbency will last him overnight. So this you may be able to get uh, both daytime and nighttime use out of if you don't have like a super heavy duty wetter baby. So I would really recommend these trifold inserts. Uh, the snap, I guess it's just like a personal preference thing. I don't think you necessarily need the snap, but it is a nice little insert and they're reasonably priced too. That's another thing. These guys are all 
reasonably priced. All right, so let's talk about this guy right here. This is the Solutions Hybrid All-in-One, which you do have to buy the inserts separately with it. So I have that little snap-in trifold insert with it. But as for the shell itself, you have some Terry inside, so it's not a wipeable cover. It has a little bit of absorbency here on the inside of the diaper. You have that one little snap at the back. You've got nice, thick, um, elastic on the butt side, single leg gussets. You have a little bit of a tummy panel and a little bit of elastic at the front to kind of scoop down the waist or like the front of the diaper a little bit. You do have uh, crossover snaps and then you do have two horizontal snaps on either hip. And you have four rise settings on the front. I will just say most of these diapers are just small-ish. They're they're, you know, marketed as one size diapers. You know, they're all mostly like eight to 35 pounds, like a general kind of weight range. But I will say they are just on the smaller side. Like if you have a kiddo who's not gonna potty train until they're over three, or maybe you just have bigger kiddos, these are probably, most of these diapers are probably not gonna last that long for you. But if you tend to have smaller kids or average size kids, you shouldn't have a problem with them. I know it's hard to predict when you're like pregnant, is my baby gonna be a big baby or a small baby? You just never know. My two older boys were both on the bigger side and then baby number three, Bear Bear, is very averagey. So he's fine in these diapers, but I didn't own them when I had the bigger kids. I'm not sure if they would have lasted until potty training on the bigger kids. Next, I have the Slim Fit cover. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is called Silver Dollar. That's the print on that hybrid. And then this one is called Seedling. It has leaves everywhere too. This is a cover, the Slim Fit cover. So inside, I do have another one of those trifold snap-in inserts. The inside is a wipeable, you know, uh, waterproof material. It is a double layer, but unlike a lot of double layer, I don't know if it's PUL or TPU, uh, it's not thick and bulky. It's very, very like flimsy and, you know, movable and just comfortable feeling, you know, so it's not big and thick like you might think some double layers can be. It's very similar to that Solutions Hybrid as far as the snaps are concerned. So we have two crossover and two horizontal hip snaps. We've got the wide elastic on the back, single leg gussets here on the sides. You have the dip down little bit of elastic here at the front. And then you also have the four rise settings, just like that Solutions one did. Next, this print is called Monstera. It's gorgeous. If you have, you know, house plants, you need this. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So this is the Simple Fit um, pocket. It's like a pocket here. So once again, I do have that snap in trifold. I just snap it right out. So this one has a little bit more to talk about. So we have on the snaps here, we have vertical snaps plus a hip snap. And it's like a low hip snap. It's not up high. It's like one step down. And then you also have the crossover snaps. And something interesting is that the top row of snaps are in snaps and then the bottom row of snaps are out snaps. So like, I wonder if you could kind of use it as like a newborn dip down so you can snap these snaps into each other to create a little bit more of a dip here. So when baby still has their umbilical stump, maybe you can get away with using a diaper like this because it allows you to dip down a little bit. I didn't own this when Bear was a tiny, tiny newborn, so I don't know if it would work like in practice, but it makes me think that you might be able to get away with it if you, if you wanted to. And like I said, these guys run a little bit small anyway, so you may totally be able to use most of these like from uh, not birth, but once baby loses their umbilical stump. So you have the four rise settings, you have single leg gussets. Inside here, you have the wide elastic on the back, but inside we have a couple little panels here. So I love a tummy panel in the front. I think that's really nice. And then you have the pocket here is like, you know, suede fleece or whatever, like polyester kind of material here for the pocket itself. But inside you still have that little snap in so you can snap in the trifold and just use this as kind of like a cover or you can tuck it in and snap it in or just tuck it in the pocket kind of different options with this one next i have an all-in-one this is the easy all-in-one in the print summit and it has some gorgeous trees and mountains on there 
I have done an absorbency test on this, so I just take the inside parts here, lay it on the counter, and pour water on top, and I got one and a quarter cups of absorbency, which is my like bare minimum acceptable amount. <laughs> I usually like to see a cup and a half or more, but a cup and a quarter is okay and it works fine in practice. I don't think I've ever taken it off of bare and it been like so saturated. I've never had it like leak because it was super saturated. So the absorbency works fine in practice. And this guys is a trim, trim diaper. It is like a disposable on baby's butt. There is no problem fitting pants on bear. This is so trim. If you hate fluffy diapers, you definitely have to give these a go. So anyway, you have six layers of bamboo terry inside, so all natural fibers. We love that, of course. I love this style of all-in-one because there's no absorbency backing up against the waterproof layer, so it dries fine out of the dryer. It doesn't take, it usually doesn't take an extra run in the dryer, so it dries pretty quickly. The only thing that's kind of weird about it is that this insert starts like two, three inches down from the front. So this is belly side, this is the front of the diaper. And I have little boys. And so it kind of worries me that the absorbency is like, starts way far down. I've never had any issues with it, but that's like a big gap between like any kind of absorbency. But it also will help save any kind of uh, wicking issues, I guess, when baby's wearing pants. So I don't, like I said, in practice it doesn't bother me, but it is kind of strange. <laughs> anyway, so we have single leg gussets. We don't have any elastic at the front here. And this isn't a tuck in pocket. Like I can't push anything into there. It's all just like sewn together. We have the, uh, we actually have like a little bit smaller elastic on the back side here, just in case you're wondering. As far as the hip snaps are concerned, we have two vertical, one hip, and then to uh, crossover snaps here. So this is a nice little guy, very affordable all-in-one. I wish it had a teeny bit more absorbency, but in practice, it hasn't given me any problems. Man, I feel like this video is gonna be a million years long. Okay, <laughs> this guy here is the Forever Fit Shell in Wheat. This is another pocket diaper. So let's talk about the snaps right off the bat. We have uh, two um, vertical snaps here. A, a hip snap over here that's like a low hip snap and then crossover snaps as well. We have the nice thick elastic on the back side. We have the little elastic right here at the front side. It is four steps, so it is snap down one for Bear Bear. I actually have a flat inside here, of course, because you guys know me. I love me some muslin flats. <laughs> we do have the on the back side here we have a little flap over the pocket it's a single open-ended pocket so it's only here on the butt side you can't stuff it from the other side you do have a little bit of a tummy panel here in the front side of the diaper single leg gussets and it is athletic wicking jersey inside, which I love. Um, I do prefer athletic wicking jersey inside. I think it's a teensy bit easier to spray poos out of that into the toilet. And also, if you have a baby who floods a diaper, if they pee a ton all at once, athletic wicking jersey allows that moisture, that pee to go through faster to absorb into the absorbency. So I do prefer athletic wicking jersey. So yeah, this is this is a guy that I actually really like. I find that it's a little bit more generously sized. It just feels like it's not quite as small as some of the other ones. So let me show you here. We have, this was the slim fit, and I know this is a pocket, but this one is the forever fit shell. So let me see if I have it like correctly. Here we go. So it's a little bit longer, you can see, and it's also just ever so slightly, maybe half an inch wider here in the crotch section. I just feel like it has a more generous size. Oh, and I actually didn't even snap it out, so let me see how much longer it is snapping it out. So lining them both up, it's quite a bit bigger through the crotch section. So yeah, I just, I think it's a roomier fit. It's a more like, true to size, one size, I would say. So once again, this one is the Forever Fit Shell in Wheat. And I really like this guy. Lastly here, we have the Simple Night Volume One Suede um, little, I guess it's a 
it's a pocket as well so I have some random inserts inside there it has the suede inside of the pocket we do actually get some double leg gussets in a pocket which is kind of unique you don't always see that very often you have a nice little tummy panel here at the front a nice you know generous sized tummy panel here and then you also do have a little pocket panel in the back as well so once again you could use this with your snap-in tri-folds. We do have a snap here at the back side of the diaper. You can just stuff this inside the pocket. One thing I will definitely say, this is a narrow pocket because of the double leg gussets. And so you're not getting this much pocket space. You're only getting this much pocket space because the double leg gussets are not covered by you know you want the double leg gussets to be like exposed not like hidden underneath this um stay dry layer i hope that kind of makes sense so it's a little bit narrow in there if you hate stuffing pockets because maybe you have big hands or maybe you just want something more generously sized in the crotch section for a pocket this is not an option you would be into so yeah i do just find it really tight in here and i would say i have like averagey smallish size hands i wouldn't say i have giant hands or anything so the fact that it bugs me to stuff this is kind of annoying once again we have a little bit of elastic here at the front so a little bit of a dip down here we've got the cool double leg gussets i used to be like a super stickler i used to love double leg gussets but honestly i have not found a difference between double leg gussets and singles after trying so many diapers over the years it's not a big deal to me if it has single or double it's whatever you have a nice thick uh, band on the back side of the diaper. As far as the snaps are concerned, we have crossover snaps. We have two vertical snaps, but no hip snaps actually. So when you don't have hip snaps, it can actually help you get more wear out of the diaper because you can go all the way to that very last snap without worrying about that other snap like digging into baby's skin so you can get more waist wear like you can it'll last longer on baby in the waist section because you don't have to worry about that extra little snap i hope that makes sense i feel like this video is a million years long and i'm kind of rambling at this point so let's go through and i will let you know what my favorites are what would i recommend i would recommend these easy all-in ones if you like a trim diaper definitely and if you don't mind adding a little booster if baby needs a little booster it's still, because of how trim it is, even if you add a little bit of a booster in there, it's still gonna be super trim. I would recommend those, affordable and adorable, and they work fine. I would recommend the trifold, these bamboo trifolds. These are great, super affordable, and they dry fine, and I like them. I think they're a good little insert. Definitely my style, I like flats and so this is a nice little you know a simplified version of a flat you know it's kind of like a little pre-fold super easy to throw into a diaper i do like this forever fit shell the pocket diaper with the athletic wicking jersey inside i do like that i feel like it's more generously sized than most of these and i just like the athletic wicking jersey so i do like that so i think that's about it the others are just on the smaller side and i prefer something to be a little bit bigger. I don't mind big fluffy diapers, you know, uh, bulk and like fluffiness doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother my kiddos. And so I don't have a problem with stuff being like on the bigger side. I do, however, get annoyed when things don't fit as long as you want them to. So I could see some of these kind of being issues as far as the longevity, like will they last until baby's two and a half, three years old? I just don't know yet. So if you're watching this video in the future, six months from now, a couple years from now, ask me how well these fit until Bear potty trained so we can see if we grew out of them. All right, this video was gigantic. <laughs> I can't believe I've been filming this long. I hope that um, you learned something. I hope I kind of broke these down a little bit for you to kind of understand what each one is all about. I hope this was helpful. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of stuff you wanna see here on this channel and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.